Well, good morning, everybody, for Sunday, the 23rd of October. So we'll start off with the weather warnings, because there are quite a number. Um, in fact, the picture is at the moment is that uh, we've had a, a number of thundery downpours moving sort of uh, northwards through the area, bringing uh, with it a fair amount of lightning, actually. Um, most of it, I think, within cloud uh, rather than to, uh, to the ground from, from how loud it's been. But um, yeah, certainly uh, very unsettled, very unstable. And uh, this uh, weather warning at the moment only goes till lunchtime. But I think looking at the General Met Office weather warning, um, there could be a chance of thunderstorms for most of the day. It's also showing here, um, mean winds of 15 to 20 knots, 25 to 30 knot gusts as well later in the day. So a very unsettled day. The chance, I think, for uh, a few hours in the middle of the day to go flying. It's an optic picture then. Uh, this was, um, that was midnight last night, low um, uh, of just near 990 millibars, uh, centred just off the coast of Spain and bringing with it uh, a, basically a washing machine of fronts. Um, we sometimes get into these weather patterns where we just don't seem to be able to escape uh, the fronts and uh, I think for quite a lot of this week we're going to be experiencing a fair amount of uh, cloud and uh, unsettled weather. There will be some bright interludes but uh, yeah I think uh, damp is the way to look at this and Atlantic but this is very autumnal this this is what we should expect really. So yeah at 12 o'clock uh, pretty much choose whichever front you want because you've got a warm, a cold and occluded all in one uh, really there. And uh, yeah, uh, the, this sort of front of area uh, is um, is gently moving up towards us. And although some of the weather is clearing us currently, um, it is going to probably go downhill again later this afternoon. So satellite picture over the UK then, well, you'll be able to see that there's uh, a reasonable amount of cloud. Um, and you can actually see the thunderstorm developments um, just south of us there, the clouds really just bigging themselves up. Drier behind it, uh, but pretty much the whole of England and Wales currently showing uh, cloud. But yeah, hopefully we're going to get into this slot here where it just stabilises a little bit for uh, a short amount of time. Rain alarm uh, shows uh, the main area of rain. Uh, bearing in mind, we are about there, um, just north of Winchester, north east of Winchester. Um, it shows most of the rain having cleared through already, but we've just got this next band to come through before uh, it's really worth doing anything. Public forecast then uh, shows a bright couple of hours in the middle part of the day, um, south to southeasterly winds, and uh, yeah, deteriorating late this afternoon. Top temperature is 16 degrees uh, today, and looking at the forecast this week, it's not going to be cold. Uh, in fact, it's going to be above the seasonal average. As we look at uh, the uh, new uh, rain radar uh, and predictive rain radar for the Met Office, uh, we can see during the day um, it's all it's generally okay, but as we get to about four o'clock, we start to see instability up again from the south. So if we go back to ten o'clock this morning, got this area of rain which you can see on the screen now, just just moving through. And then they got a few ceiling problems with their weather uh, where predictions, I think. But certainly uh, later this afternoon, uh, we are looking at uh, having uh, some uh, looking at that colour there. That, that's about half past four. Um, a fair amount of rain uh, come through the area. Um, there have been uh, discussions that uh, there is a potential uh, microburst risk uh, as well today. Uh, so we will be playing it fairly safe. Um, for those of you that don't know, at microburst is where you get a sudden uh, sort of downburst in um, outflow from the storm uh, that can cause winds of 50 to 60 miles an hour uh, uh, close to storms and uh, has been known to flip gliders over. So, yeah, we will play it safe. If we do see a storm approaching, we might need to put the gliders away. Uh, yeah, 17 degrees top temperature today. Dew points, unsurprisingly, sort of very humid, uh, 12 to 13 on there. 
Currently at Lasher, we have a temperature of 14 and a dew point of 12. And the picture outside, uh, just got another shower, just rolling through. Not particularly windy at the moment, um, but very damp underfoot. Farnborough County reporting 1,000 foot cumulonimbus scattered at 1,800 feet and four knots in the southeast. And you can see on the um, TAF there uh, how unsettled it really is. It shows scattered at 4,500 feet. So for a little while, it could be quite nice. Um, but yeah, throughout the day, really, that risk of thunderstorms ever present. Let's have a look around as well, just to see at Southampton. Uh, they are showing um, this afternoon the chance of some showers. And yeah, all very similar. And Heathrow, which I know has been a little bit disrupted by showers this morning. Again, just throughout the day, really showing that shower risk. So all in all, a tricky one but uh, I'm sure we'll find a gap somewhere. We always do. So looking at uh, top meteo then, um, this shows shower activity clearing away by about half 10, uh, 11 o'clock. Brightening up, uh, maybe some weak thermals in there uh, before by about four o'clock, it goes back to showers. So yeah, a short window for us to play in. Your site forecast then for today is showing uh, southerly winds, not particularly strong um, when away from the showers, but uh, as you can see, picking up all of a sudden this afternoon as probably those rain bands approach us. Uh, some weak thermals if we get some sun to the ground, but as you all know, that will just trigger more thunderstorms. So uh, yeah, what an interesting day we've got in store. Okay, no time wise, it's quite quiet actually. Uh, winch gliding at Middle Wallop, potential of activity at South Cerny, and there's the restricted area temporary at Morton and Marsh, um, just north of Bryes, uh, which is in place. But other than that, there is no activity. Operationally uh, today, we have no jet movements. I imagine we're going to have to operate across the field, uh, so we'll plan for a cross runway operation based on the winds. We could be operating 1-6 um, or 2-3, depending on how it looks. 2-3 would be my preferred option. It's slightly easier runway to use. Um, so yeah, if we are operating on 1-6, then we need to ensure that's just hide some ink, one second. And we need to make sure that we're doing circuits generally onto the uh, left hand side, uh, the eastern side of the launch point is a bit sort of congested uh, on this side um, and generally your reference points being around the cross runway, uh, the well the main runway uh, as you come on 1-6 so it could be 1-6 and in which case the perimeter track will get closed for traffic uh, to keep the winch cable safe. Um, if we're operating 2-3 that's fairly standard, um, generally most circuits around to the left um it's not I said, the wind is going to be quite variable but it's uh, not going to be generally too strong it's just that risk of microbursts that we've got to be careful of uh the issue that we could have and what we may need to bring to the launch point is if we are uh, got water logging which is not impossible i uh, i've uh, obviously it's been my weekend so i haven't i haven't seen what the effort's been like but with the amount of rain that's fallen this morning it could be a bit tricky in which case for two three it'd be a circuit on the left hand side uh, to land on uh, two seven and right hand circuits on two three so yeah i think we'll uh, we'll take stock of it once the showers have cleared which wind direction and what we're going to go for but uh, it would appear that we are likely to be on a cross runway so bring a coat bring a brolly uh, though don't get too close to the lightning see you very shortly bye for now